Hello everybody, let me know how the new uh, microphone sounds. I've been tweaking the settings on this thing for like two hours, like an hour last night and an hour this morning. I think I finally have it at a pretty good state. How does the microphone sound since I, I've been trying to set this new one up and I'm not entirely sure like uh, how great it sounds? I, from what I could tell, it sounded pretty good when I was doing my uh, test recordings, but uh, you guys can probably tell a little bit better if it sounds good. Does it sound like it's better quality than the old one? I feel like it's more crisp and like a little more like, uh, I guess like podcast sounding, which is kind of what this mic's designed for, I guess, but just curious what you guys think of it. So far, it looks like you guys like it. Yes, sounds good. Sounds great. Sounds really good. Like it. Sounds so good. Sounds a little metallic-y. That could just be because it's a, a different microphone than what I used before. I went from a Blue Yeti to a Shure MV7. So it's going to have quite a different sound compared to the old one. I did tweak the settings to kind of give it a little more crisp sound. So hopefully it sounds good. All right, looks like most of you like the way it sounds. All right, perfect. One thing that I'm really happy about with this microphone is it is really good at cutting out background noise. That's the first thing I noticed is that it's really good at uh, cutting out the background noise. And that was the main reason I got this one instead of just keeping my old one was because I, I needed something that didn't pick up so many background noises. You know, with Aaliyah uh, playing in the background quite a bit and crying and stuff like that. I didn't want it to always pick that up because that's obviously not great for recording or streaming to have lots of background noise. This one seems to cancel out that background noise much better. You got a cat? Nice, Deer Hunter. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. But how is everybody doing now that we got past the whole little new mic intro? Hopefully everybody is doing fantastic today. We're going to look around in multiplayer a little bit, see if we can find some trophies. I'm hoping we can find ourselves at least a rare or a diamond today. Now that's probably on your end, Natasha, because my stream's looking fine on my end. Not dropping any frames or anything, so I would probably check your uh, Wi-Fi and see if maybe that's the issue. Nice, guys. Glad to hear you're all doing pretty good. Found a nine legendary bear, but me and my friends messed it up. Oh no, Ollie. That's unfortunate. That's uh, really unfortunate. I think the biggest thing that I'm going to have to get used to with this mic is the fact that uh, if I like to look away from the microphone and talk, it doesn't really pick it up. This mic is much more directional, which is why it doesn't pick up much background noises because it is very like a, like a confined area where it picks up sound good. Oh, that is the turkey. I think that was just a 7 to 9 if I remember right. Um, I can help you out with that, Mel, if you need it. If you want me to, I can screenshot all of my settings and send them over to you. Why is the dilute rare now? I think that's just the way the developers wanted it. What kind of mic is it? It's a Shure MV7. Do I play Rainbow Six Siege? I've played it in the past, but I don't play it nowadays. Uh, but I used to play it quite a bit with friends growing up. Oh, it's rare IRL? I actually didn't know that. I, to be honest, I didn't even know Dilute was a real thing. I'd never really looked it up. I just assumed that it was probably real because it's in the game. That's cool, though. Glad you like it, Luke. Glad you like it. Oh gosh, really, Defender? Feels bad. That's unfortunate. The thing about that, though, is you can easily tell if it is something traded because you can look at the weight, right? That's the easiest way to tell if something is like a, a duplicated trophy is just looking at the weight of it. If there's a bunch of them floating around that have the same rack, same fur type, and the same weight, then a pretty good chance that it's a traded one 
What is the best map for Great One Red Deer? Uh, this map right here, Tiabaroa. It is very good for the Great One Red Deer. Big Mike's fine. Don't hear the difference. Sound the same as far as sounds and all. Think you're good? All right. Awesome, Samantha. Yeah, from what from what I could tell when I was setting it up, it sounds pretty much the same as the Blue Yeti once I got the settings tweaked the way I like them. But I feel like it is a little more crisp. But to be honest, that's something that's not super easy to notice unless you're, I guess, actually comparing the two. Gonna be lurking and jamming on my guitar. Same rules apply with my guitar as my food. Don't make me put it down. All right, uh, we will... We will uh, make sure everybody behaves, Hollow, so you don't have to put down your guitar. Oh, no worries, Luke. Thank you for dropping by, man. Glad you could at least drop by for a little bit. First stream I was able to catch? Well, welcome to the stream, ST6. Good to have you here. There's some beautiful pics of them. I'll have to look it up sometime, Mel. And yeah, I'll get you those uh, screenshots of the OBS settings once I get done with streaming. Um, you might have to send me a message in Discord to remind me, though. That random wheel mule deer was nice. Dude, you would not believe, like, how long it took to get that thing down. I was having so many troubles getting him to cooperate. That took so long. I don't know what's up with the 243 iron sights, but it, it feels so weird to shoot. It feels just so strange to shoot, uh, but it was well worth it in the end because that was by far like one of the most interesting encounters I've had with a diamond. Easily like the most interesting random wheel trophy, that's for sure. And that's actually my first time encountering that rack in game. I know that Flinter had got one a while back and said that it was a very disgusting rack, but I hadn't actually seen it in game until until uh, today's video, so it was interesting to say the least. I don't think so, Brayden. Is it cutting out for anybody else? Is the uh, the sound a consistent flow or is it cutting in and out when I'm speaking? From what I can tell, I think it's fine. I don't think it's cutting out. It looks like it's working pretty good. Mike's not cutting. Nope. Not cutting out sounds good. Okay. Good. I'm assuming it's probably like a... Maybe like some... Uh, uh, whatever audio device you may be listening on, uh, Brayden. I'm sorry to hear that, Caden. Uh, hopefully everything works out good for you, man. I wish you good luck with your finals. You have a Discord server? Yes, I do, Sean. If uh, one of the mods could drop the Discord link into the chat, that would be amazing. Also, where's the fallow deer, man? There's like no fallow deer. Oh. That hunting pressure is probably why. Um... We could go north up to this lake, the upper Pukimaro Lake. Tiawa ba ba ba. Yes, Tiawa ba 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 is uh, probably a, an amazing map, I would imagine. Hey, Nevea, how's it going? How have you been today? Favorite map? Um, My favorite map is Silver Ridge Peaks, second favorite for Honga Savannah. Third favorite, Tiawaroa. Ooh, feels bad, Revive. Well, hopefully you'll do well, man. Hopefully you'll do well. Got some decent deer there. We went to the wrong lake, I just realized. I wanted to go to the other one. Nice, PJ. That's awesome, dude. Got a five medium fallow deer, but it was a troll. Yeah, they tend to have a, a, a decent chance of trolling if they're the smaller rack. The level five fallow are kind of strange. It's like 
there's one rack that always trolls, and then there's another rack that always makes it. The thing is, like, I don't really see the troll rack too often. I think I've only had two of them. Very tired, stayed up all night studying for a science exam. Oh, man, Nevaeh. I really don't miss school. I absolutely hated school growing up, but yeah, it was just one of those things that you have to do regardless of how much you hate it. But yeah, I, I absolutely despised schoolwork growing up. Have you heard any of Ultimate Hunting? And if you have, what do you think of the game? Uh, it seems pretty cool. I think it's going to be a good game. I just hope that they're able to follow through with everything they promised. Because it is a lot of uh, promises for a game. And like, if they can pull it off, this game's going to be incredible. If they can pull off everything that they've talked about, Ultimate Hunting will be a great game. Just going to be a matter of if they're able to uh, follow through on all the stuff that they've talked about. But if they do, I think it'll be an amazing game and probably one of the best hunting games out. I don't think it will completely top Call of the Wild, but I think it'll be one of those games that fits nicely beside Call of the Wild. I feel like it's going to be good for both Call of the Wild and Ultimate Hunting because there'll be some competition. They'll be able to push each other to improve their games. I'm honestly really excited for once that game releases because I feel like it'll be just amazing for both games. So I'm pretty excited to see how it ends up. Uh, we could check along this coast for Fallow because it doesn't actually look like anybody's checked that. Yeah, they look pretty decent, Deer Hunter. It's definitely a different graphic style than Call of the Wild. Personally, I like Call of the Wild's graphic style better, but Ultimate Hunting's looks really good too. I honestly am just so excited and happy with uh, what we've been seeing of hunting games recently. Call of the Wild's been improving quite a bit with fixing bugs and adding the content we want, like ARs, in the uh, last few months. Ultimate Hunting's looking to be an amazing game as well. Like, it's just it's just going up for all the hunting games. Even Classic has been doing great recently, adding in stuff like Fallow Deer and that, uh, that like, uh, April Fool's event and stuff. All the hunting games are doing amazing recently, and that really has me excited for this next year. I got a feeling that the latter half of 2022 is just going to be crazy for all the hunting games. Super excited for everything. Hey, James, how's it going, man? Um, hello there. Oh, gosh. I'm still getting used to the really small mouse pad area that I've got on my current desk. It's a lot harder to make big sweeping flicks. Nice, young hunter. That would probably be a lot of fun. That's something I've always been, like, interested in. I hope ultimate hunting has guns in it. You know, I think it just might, Bluefish. It just might. School was fine. Yeah, well, I'm glad it was fine for you, Caitlin. I, I never enjoyed it. I gotta say, video quality is amazing. I don't know why it looks better today. I'm glad to hear that, Samantha. Glad that it's looking good. I actually haven't really changed anything video quality-wise. Uh, the only thing I've changed was my microphone. And I guess we've switched locations. Maybe the, um... I don't know, maybe moving locations made the internet quality better. I don't know if it's if that's a thing where, like... Is it possible that... I guess the, um... The line that your router's hooked up into... You know, to get its internet from... Is it possible that one of them can have damage causing internet to be less consistent? Like, still working, but having times where it's not working as good? Because I've noticed that ever since we moved, we have not had any frame drops in either of the streams. And before we moved, I was getting frame drops like almost every stream. I honestly feel like part of it might have just been the line we were connected to at the old place. Not going to college, going to an apprenticeship for electrical. Once I'm done with high school, I'm done. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, I never went to college myself. 
I personally just, for the stuff that I wanted to do, I just didn't see it as something that I wanted to go for. And thankfully for me, YouTube ended up working out, so I didn't have to go to college, but I know my uh, sister wants to go to college. Just listen while I play basketball with my brother. All right, Revive, no worries, man. Do you hunt in real life? Yes, I do, Brayden. I don't hunt uh, recently, but I hunted growing up. Hey, Jan, how's it going, dude? Try not to knock anything off the desk. It is really hard not to. <laughs> like, I, I have like maybe eight inches of mouse pad space for, for my mouse. And my arm is like resting on the boom arm for my microphone. I'll, I'll get a bigger desk eventually. I just gotta wait till I get paid again. And then I can get the new desk. Right now, this temporary one is good enough. It works good enough for now. What's my lowest scoring red deer? To be honest, I don't actually remember. I know I've got it taxidermized in my lodge, so I could probably go take a look at it. I don't remember the score off the top of my head, though. Oh, also, guys, how is the echo sounding today? Because I put up a bunch more of the acoustic foam last night. So I'm curious if it is a bit less echoey now. Is there no echo at all? Is there a tiny bit of echo? From what I could tell, I think there's a tiny bit still, but it's really hard to notice. Don't hear any echo? Okay, awesome. Little tight space? Yeah, it, it is. It is kind of a tight space. I don't really have too much on my desk at the moment, though, so I'm not really, like, risking knocking anything over. I mean, except my drink, maybe, but... <laughs> I've got it like in a spot where I can't really hit it, thankfully. I plan to probably, probably get like an end table to put drinks on and stuff. That way I don't risk knocking it onto my uh, setup. No echo? Okay, sweet. That is awesome to hear. Ooh, you're a big boy. Hey, no, 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 come back here. You're a nice fellow. I like you. Oh. Oh, that wasn't good. No. Or, or was it? Well, that one was good. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it would not be good at all. Oh no, Caitlin. So I did have one time, right, where I spilled soda on my keyboard. And this was my uh, Razer Black Widow Ultimate 2010. It was, it's a really old keyboard, but... I gotta say, it's the most durable keyboard I've ever owned in my life. I don't know what is like the difference between Razer, mice, and keyboards, but their mice seem to break so easily. But their keyboards are the most durable things I've ever seen in my life. I spilled soda on that thing, right? And all I had to do was um, take the top cover off. Uh, obviously, like, take the keys off and then just, like, leave it upside down on a towel overnight. And it worked again. Just perfectly fine. As if I had not even done anything to it. And that keyboard lasted me like six or seven years until I upgraded to my current one. I still have that keyboard and it still works. It's honestly crazy. I've never used a more durable keyboard than the uh, 2010 Black Widow Ultimate. It's a kind of a loud keyboard though. And it's not like the highest quality in like uh, switches, but... My gosh, it's durable. It is insane how durable it is. Uh, can we actually go check this area? Oh, there's somebody there already. Um, I want to look for goats, but... Probably already going to be most of those zones searched. It was the table's fault. Yes, it was the table's fault. What great one should they add next? I'd like to see a black tail deer. I think that would be pretty cool. To start watching, did I miss anything? Nothing yet, Kathy. We've pretty much just been talking about, like, uh, the new microphone, stuff like that. Trying to get everything, or make sure everything's working good. We haven't seen any trophies as of now. Hopefully, we'll find one soon, though. It fried the board. Oh, yeah. That's the unfortunate thing about most uh, spills on keyboards is it does fry things. 
I got really lucky and I'm honestly very surprised that I was able to clean it up and it worked fine. It's got to be one of the more shocking things I've had happen when it comes to like gaming and spills. Still can't believe that that thing still works to this day. What map is this? This is Tiawaroa. Yeah, he is bison. Getting that supermarket buffalo. We got anything in that group? No. Unfortunately not. Why did you do the accent every time you say Tiawaroa? Because that's how it's said. That's how it's pronounced, is Tiawaroa. And it's not really an accent, it's just rolling the R. Tiawaroa. That is called rolling your R's. And that is how you're supposed to uh, say that name. Do like three to four hours and I'm done. But I moved to California, I have to do school again. Mm, that's unfortunate, Mason. Was it worth it to buy Silver Ridge Peaks? 100% Neo. I think it's the best map in the game. It's got an insane amount of really awesome species. Uh, the map is very plentiful on animals. It's a beautiful map. It's got a lot of wide open areas. It's got a lot of mountainous areas. I, I really feel like Silver Ridge Peaks is the perfect example of the correct way to make a map. Like Silver Ridge Peaks is just so nicely set up. <laughs> Love me a supermarket beef. I know, right? Yeah, um, one of the comments I got on my video from today, somebody, um, I think autocorrect, autocorrected super rare to supermarket. And so the comment said, did you see that Kill Clayton got a supermarket buffalo? I thought that was pretty hilarious autocorrect. One of the best autocorrects I think I've ever seen in a comment. So apparently we have Supermarket Buffalo now instead of Super Rare Buffalo. I just thought that was absolutely hilarious. Yeah, the drink zones are kind of uh, the one downside of Silver Ridge Peaks. But I think they're that they feed in open enough areas to where it kind of balances it, I guess. Yeah, Charlie, we're super close, man. Like, we are so close to 50k. It's honestly kind of insane to think about. Hey, Bryson, you haven't missed anything yet. The rest and feed zones definitely make up for it. Yeah, for sure. I wonder what they're going to do with Silver Ridge Peaks whenever they... Uh, redistribute populations on there because I'm sure they'll redistribute it at some point since they've been doing that for all the maps what do you guys think they would do for Silver Ridge Peaks if they do a population redistribution there and would they change like some of the times what do you guys think there's obviously lots of things they could do do you guys think they'll ever make the like a uh, drink times longer I feel like that's a possibility I just realized, I don't think I even have the correct gun. I don't. I don't have a class 3 gun on me. I can't even shoot the goats if I wanted to. Yeah, hopefully, Bluefish. I would like to see that. Honestly, I don't want it to be as long as the drink times on other maps, but just give us one and a half to two hour drink times instead of 30 minute to one hour drink times. Like, I'd like to see Mule Deer get a two hour drink time. I'd like to see Rocky Elk get a two hour drink time. Because uh, Pronghorn and Mountain Goats, they drink for two hours, and I think that's perfect, honestly. Oh, we got host of the server. Yes, we got host of the server. Red Deer, here we come. 223 in general is pretty weak in this game, Sean. Uh, most of the community agrees that it needs a uh, buff of some kind. It's unfortunately pretty weak and could use a major buff. In my opinion, the 223 should be about the same power as the 243, and the 243 should be as powerful as the 270. Uh, 270 should be bumped up between its current state and the 30-06, kind of like in the middle. 
there's a lot of things that they should change with it. Will they? Hard to say. I sure hope they do, though. Speaking of the 223, let's break this bad boy out for goats. Might as well break this bad boy out. Then we'll do that right there, I think. Uh, 223 and slap the Argus on there. Where should we check for Red Deer? I think we'll start with the Pukimaro Lakes. It seems like they've been unsearched for them. Hey, KC, how's it going? I got a Sure MV7 for my uh, new microphone. It's honestly really nice. Um, I'm assuming you're still using a Blue Yeti, right? Because I, I remember we had the same microphone. I have already noticed that even though this is a USB microphone, uh, just like the Blue Yeti, it is so good at cutting out background noise. That is like the thing that I've noticed the most already. This microphone cuts out background noise like crazy. Oh, and also, uh, Casey, I saw the most hilarious typo in my comments uh, earlier today. As somebody was saying, well, what they were trying to say is, did you see that Kill Clinton got a super rare buffalo? But it autocorrected to, did you see that Kill Clayton got a supermarket buffalo? I thought that was pretty hilarious. So from now on, we're just going to call them supermarkets instead of super rares. We killed a uh, supermarket whitetail. That's fancy, still using the Yeti. Stream looks crisp too. Did you change some settings? No, I didn't. I've seen that I've seen everybody saying that the uh, crit that the actual stream quality looks better, but I haven't touched anything. All I did was move to a new location. Honestly, man, I feel like maybe the internet hookups at the old place were a little bit defective because I haven't been dropping frames ever since we moved either. We're using the same router. We're using the exact same service. Like we're still using Xfinity, but I'm not having issues with dropping frames. And I've seen a few people say that the stream looks crisper, but I haven't touched any of my settings. So I think it's probably just the, the hookups for the internet were maybe buggy at the old place. Maybe slightly defective because it, it definitely seems better since we moved. Seven red deer always look giant. They really do, man. Level seven ones look great. They were on sale. <laughs> oh, gosh. The Sure is a huge upgrade. It definitely is. And you know what's crazy? This is actually their newest microphone. It's the first time they've attempted a USB microphone. Uh, this is a USB or XLR mic. You can swap between the two, whatever you want to do. And this is definitely the best quality I've seen in a USB microphone. It definitely tops the Blue Yeti, and I think it's the first microphone to top the Blue Yeti in, like, a sound quality for USB mics. And it's it's actually surprisingly cheap for what it is. Like, most of the Shure microphones are, like, 300 plus, right? For most of the uh, the XLR versions of the Shure mics. Most of them are, like, three to $500, I think. This one was, like, 200 for their USB version. And I feel like the quality is almost as good as the XLR ones. It's definitely really good for what it does. Just got a max mail. I'm assuming you're saying Gemsbok. Nice, dude. That's awesome. Are you ever going to use face cam? Once we finish unpacking, I probably will do it a little bit. St right now, there's still a bunch of boxes and just stuff everywhere. So I don't want to use a face cam with a bunch of boxes in the background. I don't really have everything set up in here the way that I'd like it for the, like, webcam streaming. We got anything over here? Something over there. Come on, give us our melanistic. That would be amazing. Where is this one? Hello, level seven. Yeah, the XLR ones are expensive. I think it's pretty new, Casey. I think the, the USB one is relatively new. Uh, from what I understand, this is their newest mic that they've put out, and it's their first time trying a USB option. And I gotta say, they knocked it out of the park. This thing is really amazing for a USB mic. 
It gives you like almost XLR quality. Uh, we could check here for red deer. This could be good. Is um probably mountain lions. Mountain lions seem to be pretty easy to get diamond. Ah, uh, nothing yet, Ethan. No diamonds yet. Hey, Sinaldo, I'm doing good, man. Hopefully you're doing good as well. Oh, well, I'm not heading to this one, Potato. I'm heading to the upper lake of these two, because that's usually where I find the most red deer. What was the farthest shot I've taken on Call of the Wild? Uh, like 500 and some meters using the render distance trick. And if you guys don't know what the render distance trick is, basically, if you got on top of a really high mountain, you can see farther than what the normal... Uh-oh. Stream dropping frames big time. 